Welcome to e Shala, Unit 30, Linguistics and its Application. This unit deals with the applications of ideas developed in the larger domain or disciplines of linguistics. According to Crystal, linguistics is a science of language. It is a subject whose practitioners devote their energy to understanding why human language is the way it is. They study the history, acquisition, structure and use of as many languages as possible. It is often suggested that most of the research in the study of uh, language has been focused on the linguistic structure, acquisition and change. Some of the basic subfields of linguistics uh, study all these levels such as sounds in phonetics and phonology, words in morphology, sentence in syntax, meaning in semantics, discourse and context in pragmatics etc some other branches such as uh, historical linguistics examines development of language over a period of time computational linguistics studies intersection of language and machines uh, psycholinguistics deals with language mind and psychology and social linguistics examines the relationship between uh, language and society work of scholars like Saussure and Freud led social scientists to the discussion of a linguistic turn in the construction of social theory in the early 20th century. The concept of structure and the emergence of structuralism come from the study of language. The study of language is given birth to several sub-disciplines of study where the role of language and insights from linguistics become apparent. In this module, we discuss uh, emergence of some of the sub-disciplines uh, sub of linguistics. Within the broad discipline of linguistics, there are various subdisciplines which are often organized on the basis of implications of the study of language to the other discipline disciplines. Uh, we'll discuss some of such uh, subdisciplines in this module. Language teaching is an important uh, area. As it is clear from different modules of this course, linguistics has generally played a major role. Uh, in language teaching. It consistently keeps refining our understanding of how children and adult adults learn languages and how we can improve upon our methods, materials and classroom processes in uh, tran transacting language and literature teaching courses. One of the major lessons to be learned from the acquisition of first languages in childhood is that the less you interfere with the learning of language, the better it is acquired. What one needs is a rich exposure in anxiety-free situations and some focus on grammar and accuracy through the use of what uh, Krashen calls the monitor. Recent works done in the domain of language teaching, uh, language variability and multilingualism has proved to be of immense value to the language teachers. For the first time perhaps teachers are beginning to realize that languages children bring to the school can indeed be used as assets. That is, uh, we are learning to use multilingualism as a classroom resource. Another subfield of uh, linguistics is translation. And the field of translation includes written text and spoken uh, language across mediums that, is, that could be digital and print. To transmute the meaning from one language into another is translation. Translation becomes an important means in communication when speakers of two languages need to understand each other. In the modern time, with the advancement of technology, machines help translate from one language to other to a great extent. This is developed as a new branch in computational linguistics. This works as an automated or programmed facility to translate words and phrases between any two or more given languages. This depends on the understanding of several subdisciplines of linguistics. Uh, it is also important to mention the limitations of translation. There is no doubt that there is uh, such merit in saying that things said in one language can never be accurately translated into another language. Given that languages are so deeply culturally rooted, 
and uh, the range covered by a lexical item in one language will be very different from the equivalent word in the target language. However, in a larger perspective, it is important to have translation or translated materials so as to understand different culture or literatures from other language, literatures of other language. Semiotics is a study of signs and communication. It studies signs and symbols both individually and in group asking how meaning is constructed and understood. It is often not restricted to linguistic communication alone. When studying the use of signs, but gets extend to the meaning of sign to cover all kinds of cultural symbols. As a discipline, semiotics is closely related to linguistics and literary studies, discourse analysis, text linguistics, and philosophy of language. Semiotics within the linguistic paradigm is very helpful in the study of relationship between language and culture. Edward Sapir and Zosho's structuralist theories influenced the study of science extensively until emergence of postmodernist and post-structuralist thoughts philosophers such as Derrida, Bhaktin, Foucault and others. Uh, who have had considerable influence on the discipline in the later part of the 20th century and early 21st century. These philosophers and linguists emphasize the role of language variation and the idea of subjective usage depending on external elements like social and cultural factors rather than merely on the interplay uh, of formal elements. Another important area uh, another important subdiscipline of linguistics is computational linguistics. The application of the fundamental understandings of language to machines is called computational linguistics. This is an interdisciplinary field concerned with the statistical or rule based modeling of natural language from a computational perspective. Traditionally, computational linguistics was uh, usually performed by computer scientists. Uh, scientists uh, who, has, uh, who had specialized in the application of computers to the processing of a natural language. Computational linguists often uh, work as members of interdisciplinary teams including linguists, language experts and computer scientists. In general, computational linguistics draws from the areas such as ling uh, linguistics, computer science, artificial intelligence mathematics, logic, philosophy, cognitive science, cognitive psychology, psycholinguistics, anthropology, and neuroscience. Computational linguistics has theoretical and applied components. Where theoretical computational linguist, uh, linguistics take up issues in theoretical linguistics and cognitive science, and applied computational linguistics focuses on the practical outcome of modeling human language use. Forensic linguistics is yet another emerging domain of the study of language. Uh, it is about the application of linguistic analysis for forensic significance. Forensic analysis investigates a style, uh, language, lexical use and other lingu uh, linguistic and grammatical features used in the legal context to provide evidence in the court of law and crime scene. Clinical linguistics is yet another important subfield of linguistics. Uh, clinical linguistics is the application of linguistic theory in the field of speech pathology. Speech pathologists uh, work on corrective measures to cure communication disorders. Insights from the study of uh, sounds and sound system play vital roles in the field of clinical linguistics. Crystal describes the field of clin clinical linguistics as the application of linguistic sciences to the study of language disability in all its forms. Many other branches where application of linguistic insights is relevant such as for um, forensic linguistics, neurolinguistics and, com uh, and computational linguistics can also be uh, called sub-branches of clinical linguistics. Neurolinguistics
linguistics uh, is a study of neural mechanisms in the human brain that control the comprehension, production, and acquisition of language. As an interdisciplinary field, neurolinguistics draws methodology and theory from fields such as neuroscience, linguistics, cognitive science, neurobiology, communication disorders, neuropsychology, and computer science. Much, much work in neurolinguistics is informed by models in psycholinguistics and theoretical linguistics and is focused on investigating how the brain can implement the processes that are pro uh, proposed by them, asking whether they are necessary in producing and comprehending languages. Neurolinguists linguists study the physiological mechanisms by which the brain processes information related to language and evaluate linguistic and psycholinguistic theories using aphasiology, brain imaging, electrophysiology and computer modeling. Yet another important field of linguistics is psycholinguistics. Psycholinguist or psychology of uh, psycholinguistics or psychology of language is a study of psychological and neurobiological factors that enable humans to acquire, use, comprehend and produce language. Modern research makes use of biology, uh, neuroscience, cognitive science, linguistics and information science to study how the brain processes language. Now we will discuss about evolutionary linguistics. The question of when language began has made linguists and historians wonder since long. In 1990, Halliday discussed the, uh, discussed the challenge to apply linguistics. This is often credited as a seminal work which uh, provided grounds for linguists to consider the ecological context and consequences of language. Linguistic ecology, on the other hand, looks at how languages interact with each other and the places they are spoken in and uh, frequently argues for the preservation of endangered languages as an analogy of the preservation of biological species, much in consistence with the scope of anthropological and documentation linguistics. Stephenson argued that eco-linguistics would be relevant for high linguistic diversity that is associated with high biological diversity. Many linguists work as activists in connection with eco-linguistics and linguistic, eco linguistic ecology as they actively work at documenting not only endangered languages but also tribal languages and work with environmentalists to use the linguistic corpora collected to gain knowledge of a community and its land and solve environmental problems. According to Noam Chomsky, biolinguistics began to take shape half a century ago in discussions influenced by developments in biology and mathematics in early post-war years. Eric Lenneberg's seminal 1967 study, Biological Foundations of Language, remains a basic document of the field. The term biolinguistics was first used in 1974. One of the basic questions to be asked from the biological point of view is the extent to which apparent pr uh, principles of language are unique to this cognitive system. In this module, we discuss the application of ideas developed in larger domain uh, or disciplines of linguistics. To name a few, some of the subfields of linguistics are evolutionary linguistics, biolinguistics, computational linguistics or NLP, natural language processing, forensic linguistics, clinical linguistics, neurolinguistics, ecolinguistics, etc.